Let us talk about something very important, and that very thing is called life. Our lives itself. I mean, right now you're living a life, whether it's a good one or a bad one, doesn't really matter at this moment in time. If it's bad, I know you want to change it, but let's discuss this concept of life in a little more depth. What happens at the start of our lives? Let's think about this really honestly. How did you come to this planet? Well, first of all, if we go back into our past, of course we have two people. A man and a woman. Our father and our mother. Well, eventually, through certain activities, the woman became pregnant. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to avoid certain words so YouTube doesn't get upset. I'm thinking this is a weird video, but we're getting to something very important here. So after your mother was pregnant, after a certain amount of months, there you were, you were born. A little baby. That was you, that was me, as everybody at one point in their lives. Now what does it do? Well, what does everything on this planet do the moment it is, well, created you could say, or born into this world? Whether it's man, animals, plant life, it all starts to expand and grow bigger and larger. Now it doesn't mean that we physically grow larger and larger and larger to the point that, you know, we would be giants. like. That doesn't happen after a certain amount of time, we also stop growing physically. However, this is a very good indication of what life is all about. So let me put it very clearly to you. Life is about expansion and fuller expression. Now what are we going to expand? What are we going to express more fully? Well, as human beings, what we want to grasp is that we want to expand and express ourselves more fully in this lifetime. Now this happens automatically once we start working on our dreams in life because every human being has unique passions and dreams in life and if they obey those, they automatically start to expand and express themselves more fully from the heart. Now most people actually feel stuck. Why would most people be reluctant to do this? Why would they feel stuck? Well, it's because of belief systems that are holding them back from actually expanding in fuller expression of themselves. Now there's reasons for this, one of them is because many of us when growing up heard that our dreams weren't realistic to a certain extent. We may have been mocked for what we wanted to do and therefore we sort of gave up on the idea or dream that we had in our minds. Now other times as children our dreams might change around all over the place. I mean I know I've had certain dreams that I'm not even interested in as an adult. One of them was I wanted to be a cook, no joke. I wanted to cook food for people, I thought that was great. I was like, that seems like a great career, something I want to dedicate my entire existence to. Well, it didn't happen, and I also lost the interest as I reached adolescence. What happened after that? Well, my ideas started to change again. And this time I wanted to be more creative. I wanted to make music and write and do all sorts of stuff more consistently and with a more serious tone where it was like, yeah, I want to dedicate my life to this. These are the activities that I actually never have given up on. I've worked on them for many years now. Sometimes I can take a break from certain activities concerning music or writing, but they were always in the background of my mind because I'm very clear that this is what I enjoy most. I found out when I'm working on those things, I lose track of time, but not only that, I feel full of joy when I'm creating something new. So to me that is very, very great stuff and therefore it causes me to expand and express myself more fully as an individual. Now as a human being, in your case, what you want to grasp is that your consciousness allows you to do this. That is the beauty of the power of consciousness that resides within you. It allows you to express yourself more fully, but it can only do so if you dare to go for it if you dare to obey your own heart and live your own dream and work on your own dreams in life. If you grasp this, you can see around you in nature that everything out there that is growing is growing and expanding and expressing itself more fully. Again, to a certain extent physically speaking, but it happens all over creation. Now it even happens with objects if we think about it. The first computer, for example, wasn't the way that computers look like right now. Now we started to expand and express the technology of computers more fully and it will keep going on and on. It's the same with cars. We now have great, fast, powerful cars you could say, but it wasn't right from the start in that manner. However, 
once the first car was invented, it was a concept that allowed the individual who created it, but humanity at large, to expand and express itself more fully. The same with the airplane. The first model wasn't the way that we have airplanes right now. No, but over time it expanded and expressed itself more fully, this idea in our worlds. How do these ideas expand and express themselves fully? Or more fully? Well, they need an individual or a group of people to decide that they're going to do that. And they do that with their consciousness. So in your case, wherever you are standing right now, I hope you're aware of the passions that you have within your heart and that you're already working on them. But if you feel stuck, it's probably because you're still operating from a sort of limited viewpoint. And what you want to start considering is simply, how could I expand and express myself more fully with these activities right from where I stand? Because that is basically what it means to evolve, to sort of apply the theory of evolution towards your own dreams in this case, so that they evolve into something bigger and better over time. That's the beauty of this all. Even with YouTube videos like this, I didn't have the idea all my life, but ever since April 2019, since I got the idea of making videos, dedicate a whole channel to this, while well, the idea has been consistently expanding and expressing itself more fully in my world and you, the viewer, are witnessing this expansion in your own way with the ideas that I'm trying to convey to you so that you yourself can live a greater life yourself. Now this is what happens to people. They might have dreams and then because of limited self-beliefs and doubts and worries about whether they can do it, if they study these ideas consistently, they start to alter those belief systems and what happens? Well, they suddenly notice they do have the power and ability to make their dream come true. So there they go. They start working on them and slowly but surely it starts to expand and get expressed more fully into the world in their lives. Now that is the most important part to grasp. And I think that is what life is all about is for us as human beings to always be working in this manner because that is what keeps life exciting and sort of like an adventure where things don't become mundane and the same each and every day because for many people that is the case life is constantly the same every single day because they're not really working with great ideas for themselves even though they have them but they're blocking them out of their consciousness will allow them to come into your consciousness and pretend that the idea is like a seed you plant in your consciousness and by holding it there it starts to grow and expand the idea becomes stronger within your own consciousness and then you'll be compelled to make it happen now this also brings you to another point based on what Neville used to say. He would always say you must make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. If one does this, they automatically start to expand and express themselves more fully. Can't you see what I'm getting at? You can do this right now wherever you are. Now that is what it means to bring the future into the present. We must make our future dreams a present fact by living in the assumption that it already is so. This is what causes the mind to attract all it ever needs to make it so, which to us seems like it takes time. But it really doesn't in reality. By taking one step towards your dream, you instantly have succeeded. But there's a catch, right? Oh, but there are elements of the physical world, like readers or viewers. Money in my bank account that would be nice to have. And to that we say, then take another step. So the first step is to apply this technique in your life then you've already succeeded at achieving your dream in the inner world. Now, if you want to have physical evidence of it as well, you have to take another step to watch that dream. The key point as well is grasping that you already have instantly achieved your dream once you see it in your mind. The work is done, the rest happens automatically, as long as you keep your dream like a resonant in your mind. It's symbolic, right? Now, this is another thing I wanted to stress to you because it's another way of looking at the power of your consciousness. You can also look at your dreams like they're the spiritual children of the soul. Now let me ask you something. Would you deny your own child life? Would you abuse your child? Well, any sane person would obviously say no. I would want that. I would want the best for my child. Well, then let me ask you the following as well. Then why aren't you going for your dreams? because they are the spiritual children of the soul. Why are you abandoning your dreams? Why are you abusing your dreams by doubting in them? By fearing it? By not wanting it to succeed? 
because you're self-sabotaging yourself with these negative mental concepts that you allow to reside in your mind. Now, if you play around with this idea, you'll be able to look at your own dreams from now on from a much more interesting angle. That is actually how I look at my dreams. I want them to live. I want them to be expressed in this world. I want them to expand and be more fully expressed in my life. Therefore, I will always think pleasant thoughts when I'm focusing on them inside my consciousness. I don't allow negative ideas to tear them down. I don't allow doubts to creep in. I've trained myself to such an extent that I simply focus on my wish fulfilled. And that is the only thing I see. Now in private, when I talk to other people, when they have dreams, just recently I talked to somebody else as well, that wanted to write a book for quite some time now, and they were stuck, they were doubting it, they told me themselves, they were doubting it, and therefore they didn't really work on it. But after studying my ideas, they became so inspired, they started working on it, they, they feel the flow of ideas happening in their consciousness, and so now they're off to creating the book. And what I tell them is, you have created a very successful book. It is a great project. Can't you see? Now this is placing myself already in the future and bringing it into the present. We want to see our dreams as if they're already succeeded. We want to live from the place as if we've already achieved what we want. Now this takes some practice, but once you learn it, it's a lot of fun to do this. And we're going to talk about this in the next video as well, because it's vitally important that we grasp this in the right way so we don't totally act like delusional people. Because that might happen if you don't have the clear understanding of why this is important and how it actually works in your favor. Now while sharing these ideas, I hope you take them to heart and consider your life in the same manner. Your existence is about expansion and fuller expression of your very self. So how do you want to express yourself? Where do you want to go with your life? And then understand the universe has your back. It gave you your consciousness so that you can actually do this. That's the beauty about the consciousness that you have. With that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.